Hey everybody, I wanted to take some time while the weather was actually somewhat decent because we've had horrible weather the last week or so. Ice, freezing rain, sleet, snow, cold, wind. Today was the first day that the sun came out in a week and then it's calling for more snow tomorrow. So I wanted to show you guys this little spot here. This is where I'm going to build my new building and my new fur shed. So you can see, got it staked out here. Stake there, stake there, stake there, and a stake there. The building itself is going to be 30 by 40. It's going to have uh, be a metal building. It's going to be insulated. Um, going to have 12 foot walls, concrete floor. I'm going to have water in it. Going to have electric in it, obviously, and it's going to have a drain in it so I can like wash it out and stuff. Um, front door rear door and then also a front garage door and I'm going to be able to put my UTV in it, my um, zero turn mower, uh, my rotor tiller, I'm going to have a workbench in there, I'm going to have all my tools and then I'm going to have a little area that's going to be like my fur shed where I'm going to have water, a sink, um, my drain, um, I'm going to have a, I'm going to build myself a new brand new skinning machine that's going to go up to 12 feet into the ceiling so that'll be great. I'm really going to be able to just skin a lot more coyotes a lot quicker. I'm tired of skinning all these coyotes slowly with my current skinning situation and skinning machine situation. So I'm going to do all that. And uh, it's also going to, you know, there's going to be other stuff in there. I'm going to have an area in the back of it where I'm going to be able to store hay and straw and feed and, um, and other things. So this is like a sneak peek version of where it's going to be and kind of how I'm going to do it. So for those, for those of you that have built um, skinning fur sheds before or just shops before, um, I'm totally open to suggestions for a fur shed. Um, granted, only a part of this building is going to be the fur shed, but I've never really had a fur shed that I've actually built myself before. Uh, it's always been like using what I have, like a an old shed or an old building or that's something that I've just kind of haphazardly made into a fur shed so to be able to build this building from brand new from scratch get it kind of the way I want it I want it you know done right obviously the first time so so that's kind of what it's going to be as I move along with this fur shed I'll kind of shoot some video and let you guys uh, see kind of how it comes out so and before I get questions about this because I know I'm going to what the heck are all these flags and the stuff doing over here well this is the new chicken house that I just got built and um, it took a little bit and I'm I've obviously still working on some of it I've got some landscaping I'm trying to do around it and I'm using this gravel to basically control the water so the water flows where I want it to go but the reason I did this is well hell I lost eight chickens just this last year um, between the coyotes and the hawks and eagles and everything else um, I had to just do this so now these chickens have got this little covered area I blocked the other side with some um, metal some old barn metal to give them a little bit of a windbreak so they've got it covered in there and then obviously in here they've got their run that's uh, about a hundred feet deep by about 75 feet wide We've got a couple of different compost piles that can scratch in and go through. And since it's right here on the edge of the bluff, right here on the edge of the mountain, I've got, uh, got it fenced in really good for them. And all these prayer flags and things that I got here are really to keep the hawks out. The hawks were coming in here and just hauling off with chickens. So I put this stuff up. They don't like it. They won't come in here. They haven't been in here in a good month now since I put all this stuff up. Daniela put herself a little scarecrow over there. I'm not really sure if that works or not, but she wanted to do it, so I let her. It's kind of cool. But uh, we built this little chicken house really to bomb proof to keep the raccoons out of it, to keep all the critters out of it. Um, so you can come around this other side over here to the front. Or the, I guess it would actually be the side of the chicken coop. Here's the entrance, got a little bit of storage in here, egg area, roosting area, pretty nice little place. Nicest chicken house I've ever had. 
all the other chicken houses I've ever had have been pretty much hand-me-downs that I've had to beg and you know kind of jimmy rig together to keep the coons and stuff out of them but uh, then I, you can see the fence that I had to build and this fence basically keeps the coyotes at bay so they don't come into the yard they were just coming up out of the forest and coming up into the yard and hauling off with chickens so that's just part of what happens when you live in the rural area rural parts of the country especially here in the Ozarks where it's very rural where I live is if you want to have any kind of livestock you've got to protect it because everything tries to eat it so so far this has kept the coons out the coyotes out the foxes out the bobcats out we, we saw a bobcat in the yard the other day but hasn't killed any more chickens and um, the bears are not out yet but hopefully this will keep the bears out too when they come around in another few weeks because they'll be coming out pretty soon so so that's that just to so you guys know before everybody starts emailing me and asking me what the heck are all those flags for so getting back to the shop um, and the fur shed any suggestions you guys have for the fur shed I would gladly welcome um, first fur shed I've ever built and I want to do it right so um, I'll let you know how things are going. Hopefully if the weather holds, I should start this project in the next maybe 10 days, I'm hoping. So we'll see how it goes. Talk to you later.